What's up people? Thank you for joining me for another beer review from Romney Sands in the chalet where we're staying. Uh, I thought I'd do another review. This one's for you, Charlie. She wanted me to do a review in her chalet. So anyway, it's beer on four o'clock. And uh, unfortunately, I wasn't exactly sport for choice. Uh, but actually, this was bought by accident by the missus. I said, get me some Corona because it's bloody expensive up the clubhouse and I can just open it and they won't know no different. And I'll just drink Corona. Not my favourite beer, but better than paying £6.50 for a bottle of Madri, a pint of Madri. Uh, she picked up Corona, but Corona Legra. Can you see that all right, Carla? We thought it was on the camera. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's a light version of Corona. Light, refreshing beer, it says. 3.2% ABV. ABV. So yeah, my breast milk and my piss is gonna get me more drunk, but we'll give it a try anyway. Hopefully it'll be at least refreshing. Let's uh, grab a bottle. And uh, I'm gonna crack it open on Helen's rather sexy looking hot point vintage fridge freezer. Last time I've done this, it went bloody everywhere. So uh, just a heads up. No, we're good. See, look, professional now. Beer's open. Let's grab a glass. Come with me, Carla, let's get comfortable. Got a very nice sexual looking leopard skin print chair there. Uh, I'll sit down here and give it a review. Oh. Now, uh, normally you would serve Corona, the normal one, with lime. Probably this one as well, to be fair, to give you a bit of flavour. But I ain't got no lime. They run out in the shop, so. We're just going to review it as it is. Right, let's chuck it in the glass. You can already see what colour it is. Just put it in the glass, see if it develops any head. Of course, we've got a Pepsi Max glass, because we're on holiday. We ain't got a proper beer glass. So there you go. It's got quite a nice, decent sized head on it. Nice white foamy head. Uh, yeah, it's a pale golden colour, as you can see there. You see it all right, Carl? See the close up? Yep. Here's a close up of the beverage. Right, let's check out the arenas of Corona Legra. Don't know what Legra means. You have to let me know in the comments what's Legra mean. Uh, yeah, let's give it a whiff. It smells much like the uh, original Corona, actually. It smells uh, sweet malts and like citrusy, like lemon and lime mix, almost like uh, Sprite, not Sprite, yeah, Sprite, lemon and lime, but like a beer, a beer sort of shandy, a Sprite shandy, that's the one, it smells like a Sprite shandy, uh, yeah, it smells quite sweet as well, let's try it, hopefully it's alright, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of a normal Corona, but I've sort of had to drink it while I've been away, so I've kind of got used to it, but I've been drinking it with lime, anyway, cheers everybody. Bosh. Let's see if I think it's worth a buy. Well, not really, no. First impressions, it's, it's better than I thought it was gonna be. Cause I mean, it's ho over a whole percent weaker than the normal Corona. It tastes a lot like the normal Corona, uh, but with one less bollock sort of thing. It's had a bollock ripped out of it, and the bollocks were quite small to start with. So, you know, you had a small pair of bollocks, and now you've just got one small bollock. And uh, it's just not quite <clears throat> doing it for me. It is refreshing. It tastes of not a lot at all, which is why people put the lime in it for me. Um, but you are actually getting a lime taste of this without the lime, perhaps a little bit more so than the original. Uh, so perhaps they've done that to save people having to put lime in it. I don't know, but I'm getting more lime. But it does remind me a bit of the aroma, a bit like a Sprite, making a shandy with a Sprite, a can of Sprite, like a maybe slightly strong shandy. 3.2%. Um, yeah, it's the one thing I will say about it, which I will give it, is it's not as watery as I thought it was going to be. At 3.2%, I thought it was going to be like beer flavoured water, but it's not that watery. Um, it's light bodied, it's refreshing, good feel to the carbonation. Um, it's just not a massive amount going on. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Um, 
this is brewed in the UK like your normal Corona is now. Uh, the missus picked this up, as I say, by mistake. She got eight bottles of it for six quid. So for that price, I mean, it's not too bad, is it? And it's gonna save me a few bucks tonight. What, is it not eight bottles for six quid? No, it's six. Six bottles for eight quid. Get it right, Ash. Yeah, six bottles for eight quid. It's gonna do me a job on holiday, uh, you know, and it's gonna help me uh, cut down on the calories on your beer intake. So it's all right for that, I suppose, if you're trying to cut down a bit. I'll give it a six out of 10. It's not too bad. For what it is, a 3.2% lager, it's better than I thought it was gonna be. I'll at least give it that. Thanks for tuning in, people. <sighs> Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. I'm off to the clubhouse and um, until next one, which I should be back home by then. And I'm also doing a little holiday vlog as well. Bye bye, darlings. So look out for that.